What is going on, people? It is Albino Raven, and today we have found a diamond that I've been looking for for so long. As we start off the clip by checking out a beautiful black buck, and as by the title, you're gonna know I've already shot a diamond black buck. Spoiler alert, it is happening, and it was freaking amazing. So I just pretty much went to uh, white buck drink time, which was 9 to 12, I believe. And I just checked out all the lakes. I ran around all the lakes, found them. Oddly enough, he was hanging out in some brush. So, yeah. And I found this decent-sized uh, 98 scoring black buck. He was okay. So I was hanging out here, and I was just crawling along the bank checking out for some black buck. And all of a sudden, I see, I heard a warning call from a red deer. And I thought, hmm, okay. I picked up his track. He was a level, I'm sorry, a max weight estimate. So I was like, oh, okay. So I followed him into this little bitty uh, rocky terrain area here. And I end up taking him down. He's a very good size. I was really hoping it was another diamond. As you guys saw in my last video, I got a diamond red deer. So I wasn't too upset because, again, I have one. But who doesn't want another one? Diamond red deers are freaking awesome looking. I mean, this mythical is really cool looking too. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, you know, you want what the heart wants. The heart wants what the heart wants, guys. You all know this. <laughs> and he set me up for a really perfect screenshot, honestly. I mean, it just, ugh, he was. Look how beautiful. I barely got that. I almost screwed that up by hitting the spine. I ended up getting into his shoulder blade, which, thank goodness, the 303 penetrates like it does. Because otherwise, man, that would have been bad news bears. But I love how asymmetrical his antlers are, and it just everything just looks beautiful about him. So, you know. Anyways, so yeah, that was our mythical red deer. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for. Here I am, I'm trying to call him in. I, I saw him, I spooked him. And I'm just waiting on him to come in. I'm sitting here hitting the call, hitting the call, hitting the call, just waiting. Because I know eventually he's going to come out. This female's poked her head out about four or five times. So, you know, no big deal. I've seen another male, and he's been hanging out, and so I'm gonna have to try to, you know, scooch over here. The wind's good. You know, that was a big thing, is making sure that the wind was good, because I did not want to spook him. That would have been very bad <laughs> if I spooked him again, because I already did once, and I had, it took me forever to get him to come back in. So I was not about to freaking chance that, and have him come back out, and then come back in. So I got in this brush, Super good hidden. It's just it, perfectly hidden. And here comes the other female. No sign of the big male yet. Haven't seen any horns. And oh, oh, okay. Here comes uh, the smaller male that I've been calling in. He's nervous, but he's coming in. And I just got rammed by something. And the level three is alert. <laughs> and I just keep inching back in because I know he's going to see me. And out of nowhere, look at those horns. I mean, he came out of nowhere. I'm sitting here, like, not even expecting it. And then all of a sudden, shaboom, shabam, you know, he's, like, right there. And I knew I had to take the shot. And I just saw those beautiful horns, but I knew I had to wait because there's just nothing like it. And I drop him immediately. The Solikin is a freaking lifesaver, guys. I love that gun. And it got me my first diamond black buck. I like black bucks a lot. I've been wanting a black buck, a... And I did get trolled in the black buck. And you'll see, I actually have that video up. I will um, probably post it in the cards to let you guys see it. I believe if I still have it. I'm not sure if I ever posted it. But I've wanted one of these. I've wanted a lesser kudu and a spring bomb. And I finally have gotten the black buck checked off. So now I need the lesser kudu, the spring bomb, and the warthog. So you guys know that, I mean, warthog is my favorite animal. But I need me a freaking black buck and a uh, whatever they're called. I need it in my life. <laughs> so, yes. So here we are hunting gold black bucks. And he's really good size. I'm checking him out. I see him over there. He's just chilling. Um, max weight, yet again, will max weight estimate. And I get my, my Solican out and let it just plop him right in the lung. Oh no, actually that was a 243 that I was shooting with. I take that back, not the Solican. So, 
I bust in one, and I found a max weight estimate Cape Buffalo. So, I mean, I'm sorry, not Cape Buffalo, Water Buffalo. Here I am trying to be on freaking Africa. So, yeah, man, I mean, it's just, just all kinds of trophies. I love it, I love it, I love it. Well, guys, I will say that um, he is not as good, but, you know, I mean, I'll take him. You know, it was, it was exciting to get to watch him well above gold almost a diamond criteria about 13 below diamond so you know i'll take it so now we're back at the lodge and i just wanted to show you guys what he looked like let you guys let me know do you want me to start putting lodge clips at the end of every video to show you because there is a beautiful black buck or would you rather just do you not even care about my lodge so let you guys comment down below let me know make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you guys like the video share it it helps me out a lot and remember Keep fishing, keep hunting, and keep praying. See y'all later.